Hello, good night. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, we're going to wait a few minutes. Meanwhile, the rest of the people come to the class. Good evening, teacher. Hey, you are so young today. That's good, eh? Okay. Hey, good evening, Osmin. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay. More younger. <laughs> yeah, you're younger. That's nice, eh? Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. <like, laughs> Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Monday, and we are going to start our English class. So, we are going to check for, first of all, as usual, the platform. So, let's check here. Okay, so this is the class of today. And we are going to, well, this is the question already for you to participate, of course. Uh, for today, there is no homework. Remember that by Monday, by Friday, no, for the weekend, we need to finish the midterm test. Anyways, we're going to check the attendance. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Good. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Good evening. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Very good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present teacher, Nelson. Ah, okay. Mayra Melanie Bel Guevara de Beltrán. 
Okay, so we are going to start the class of today. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay, we're going to start then. Today we're going to read a little bit more about identify issues to hidden charges when online shopping. Do you remember what are the hidden charges? All the churches that include in the in the in the bill, but we don't perceive if if I can say, for example, the transportation, the the taxes. Um, I don't know. Very good, perfect. Okay, so we're going to check about the hidden cost of online shopping for customers and retailers. Uh, we're going to practice some reading. So let's see. Osmin, could you please read the first part? Internet shopping has grown uh, miss, excuse me. massively, massively, especially now that free uh, delivery and returns. Return. With return. multiple return, okay. With multiple ways of my making, then are the uh, norm. You can order a number of various, various variation of the same piece of uh, clothing, clothing, for example, and and then just send back the. Uh, unwarp, uh, unwarp. Unwanted. One, excuse me. Unwanted. Wanted, okay. Honors. Uh, once. Once. Okay. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, the, the important is uh, for me internet shopping mm, is special uh, uh, is more free uh, service for the customer and same for return yeah okay yeah i mean uh, internet shopping has been growing right and now you can get almost anything that you may want good perfect uh, Rose, could you please read the second paragraph? Oh, well, that while many. Okay, while many return items may be damaged or faulty, a lot of places will let will let you return something just because you don't like what you order. An Instagramming expensive clothes for O O T D outfit of the day. Post and then returning them is one part of the try by trend. Good. What did you understand on this one? Um, when when people buy something and the merchandise is damaged, uh, they return. They return the merchandise. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah, so, and it's, it's something interesting here that it says that some of the retailers sometimes you can return things just because you don't like. To. So sometimes you purchase something and you don't like the way that you wear the clouds, you can say, okay, I will return it. They don't ask questions. Sometimes, not all the time, of course. And uh, I mean, that is another thing that I, was interesting in this one. It says, and Instagramming expensive clothes for outfit of the day post. So some people, there is a trend in the United States, they get something, they take pictures and they return the things to the store and just for the post, right? So maybe it's not good for the retailer, but I mean, that is part of the service that they have. Um, that's, that's the way he say try by trim. <laughs> yeah, that is uh -huh, true. In El Salvador, 
uh -huh. and to say, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, here in El Salvador, I guess it's not like that, right? Yes. But um, yeah, in the United States, customer satisfaction is very important. So very good. In El Salvador, you only go to the store and when you are in the, in the how do you say, in cambiador? Ah, in the, in the dresser. In the dresser, <laughs> you took the picture. <laughs> Okay, that is a good yeah, one. There are, there are many, <laughs> there are many teenagers <laughs> like do like uh, do that. <laughs> okay, that is yeah. I, I I never seen something like that, but yeah, I mean that is something. Yeah, that my daughter is one of them. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. That's something interesting. Okay, so the next one is going to be for Carla. Carla Vasquez. <clears throat> Profit with I know customers. No, no, customers. Customer first. Yes, yes. Yeah. Customer first is the basis of all retailer strategies. Many have had to put online self system into place very quickly to build the competition, but now they are struggling with the consequence. The return rate from e-commerce are quotes up two or three times higher than those foreign store purchases. And there are downsides for both retail and customer. Good. What did you understand on this one? Um, it's common here the customer fears is a basic strategy for all, all business. And I think that is a good strategy because it's very important that, that the customer have the, the better service, the better product. And for me, is, is the first rule in all business. Very good. Actually, that is true. I mean, customer first, sometimes it's not possible because some customers are kind of, they want too much, right? And sometimes, I mean, there are things that you cannot do for them, but yeah, that should be the way, right? Um, there are some words here that we can check. Struggling. What is struggling? Something difficult. Something difficult, very good. Something that you have problems with. For example, some people, they have struggling when they speak in public. So you are like, ah, I don't feel very well. I, I'm nervous. And you're struggling with that one. So that is it. And then let me see. Purchase. What is to purchase? Is a similar or uh, um a order order by purchase mm -hmm. very good and the last one is downside what is the downside 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 disadvantage teacher disadvantage very good something that is like a you know, we have pros and cons, right? So this is a con, very good. So now we're gonna start talking about the other one, prof is white. Amana Salmi, could you please help me with this? Yes, teacher, prof is white. For customers, there is a time cost. On top of time is spent browsing online. Click and call it often means where we need. Queuing. Queuing, queuing to pick up in your purchase. With home delivery, there may be time consuming work in pack packaging, in marking, in making returns. Online shopping can also sim simply, 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 simply lead customer to overspend due to convincing and clever marketing techniques. Very good. So what did you understand on this one? 
in the first part is related to the process when the customer buy for online um, in the first part. When, when the customer receive the, the goods or the portion, the product, huh? uh, there are um, uh, there, there are 10 for, how do you say, try. To try? To try the, the, the product. And it's possible that maybe when the product, uh, when the product is not the, or how do you say, don't comply the expected, expectative? The expectation. Is, expectation is possible the return. Okay. Um, let's see, it's possible. The overspend teacher is related to the over consumer. Con yeah, overspending is like when you pay more than the one that you want to pay. Mm. Only shopping can also simply lead customer. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, make I I bore my my. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, I'm sorry. Why was burned? I, I don't know. <laughs> the the beans. <laughs> oh no! You can go go for it. go and check. <laughs> It's late, teacher. It's late. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. I'm sorry. It's too late. Yeah, exactly. You can say to the okay. family, it's a new flavor, you know, it's no, a new yeah. way. <laughs> Online shopping can also simply lead customers to overspend due to convenience, including making things. It's possible to pay more and for to get the benefits. I guess the no. idea on this last part is like this. It's like when you are online, it's like when you go to the dollar city, right? You want one thing, but you buy three things. So that is overspend. So you you have the budget okay. for one thing, but then you see many other things. And so you say, oh, and the same happens online. Online, yeah. you look for one thing, but then you see another thing. It's like, oh, that is good. I can get that one. So that is how we spend it. It's a strategy for marketing teacher. Exactly. That is <laughs> actually it's a technique, right? So yeah, it's a technique. Very well. Perfect. So actually that is it. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Our our spend is similar uh excessive spend. Something like that, yeah. When you spend oh. more than what you should, for example. Okay. Very good. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, this is like, um, there is always a cost. So it says on top of time spent browsing online, click and collect often means queuing to pick up your purchase. So queuing is the first word, to be in a queue. Do you know what is that? I really hate that actually. When, when you are in a, in a row. In a row, when you are waiting when in line. Waiting, when waiting uh -huh. in the bank, at the bank. Exactly, at the bank, mm -hmm. with the doctor or any yeah. situation like that, you are in a queue. You are queuing, right? So, uh, so they, they, it says that whenever you purchase online, sometimes you have to go to the store and pick up your purchase, right? Sometimes. Uh, with home delivery, there may be time consuming working packaging and making returns. So if you don't like it, you have to package again and go to the post office and send the package back. So in online shopping can also simply lead customers to overspend. So we, we checked into that one already. Clever, do you remember what is clever? Clever. The clever is the cashier. It's no. like, no. The it's cashier, not. no. All the, oh my God. <laughs> I know, but I can explain. The person who is attending? No, that is clerk. Ah, ah yes, yes, yes. Clever. 
I don't know. I rem I I know the word, but I don't remember. Yeah. It, it, it's like a, a smart. It's like smart. Very good. You're clever. You're smart. Very good. Okay, the next one is going to be for Sandra Romero. Okay, teacher. Retailers face serious logistical problems when it comes to offering an omnichannel service that seamlessly connects customer experience online and offline. That is because most EU systems are, are only designed for traditional shop operations. There are a surprising number of additional costs and being an omnichannel retailer, which we found are very likely to wipe our profit for an increase in their sales. What did you understand on this one? Mm, when we have a uh, control about the sales that we have online and offline, about when we are uh, selling in a page maybe, and um, when we have maybe an, um, an store, and you have the option to buy online and apply if you go to the store and you can buy something. So that is the control that you have, the, the profit that you receive and the sales online and the sales offline. The customers went to the store and when you buy something in internet or in the app or page that you have. Very good, perfect, thank you. So definitely to be a retailer and try to, well, omnichannel means that you sell everything, like right? every kind of products. Uh, and that is difficult because it's not going to be the kind of, the same kind of manage on, the, on all the products. Do you remember when we were talking about logistics? It was, it was a big deal. So you can check into that one. Let's see, there are some words here. I don't think there's that many. No, maybe omnichannel. Okay, good. Ada, Patricia, the next is for you. For a project, we review on the online sales and return police of 100, 100 euro retailers. Conducted for the Tyler case studies with large UK retailers and carry out a 17. 17 structure interview with other Europe companies. We also created a cost of return calculator. What did you understand on this one? I think the company Europe study. Um, The project, the sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is about a project. This is very interesting, actually, because it's talking about a study, a research that they made. They say that they review the online sales and returns policies of 100 European retailers, which is a lot, conducted for detailed case studies with large UK retailers and carried out 17 structured interviews with other European companies. So it's describing what they did. They uh, studied the situation where some people purchase online and return about the policies and things like that. It's just the introduction. So the next one is for, uh, well, let me see if there is any word. I don't think so. Okay, so uh, the next one is for Jasmine. Using benchmark retail cost, our research showed that for a reasonably expensive item, retailing at around 89, um, Pound. how do you say euros? No, those, those are uh, pounds, yeah, because it's just uh, in England. Uh -huh. uh, 89 pounds. Uh -huh. There would still be a cost of three pounds per item from various overheads if there were no returns of the items. What did you understand on that one? Hmm. I don't understand very well that part. Um, what mean 
rent mic. Okay, that is a very good um, question. Anybody, what is benchmark? Benchmarking. Point of reference, teacher. It might be like a point of reference. In this case, benchmark is when you compare, when you have the, uh, the data from many companies and then you do like an average, let's say. So benchmarking is when you interchange information from company to company. Okay. And this is like the results of the of the research. So it says that for a reasonable expensive item retaining at around 89 pounds, there will still be a cost of three pounds per item from various overheads if there were no returns of the item. I mean, so even though there were no returns, there is a expense of three pounds that they include in the pricing. So that is something that, uh, remember that we're talking about here, uh, hidden fees, right? Hidden charges. So when you purchase something, there is a cost of returning that is included in the pricing. That means that even if you don't return the, the product, you are paying for that one. So that is interesting. Okay. It's the next a marginal one, huh? cost teacher. Exactly. So whenever that is actually that is normal. If you have the point of view of a company, you need to take in, a, in account all the expenses, right? Everything, everything. And of course, the company is not going to pay for anything. The consumer is going to pay for that one, even when they don't use that service. So it's like a normal thing. Okay, the next one is for Wilfredo. At a twenty percent, yeah, please. I'm okay. At a twenty percent rate or returns, the average for e-commerce, the cost of return rises to uh, eleven pounds. Eleven. What? What I mean in the symbol, teacher? The symbol is for the the coin for the money of England that are pounds. Ah, euro. Um, no okay. euros, but pounds. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Um, at 35% rate of returns, the average for clothing bottom line, the cost of returns is 20 pounds at a 70% rate of returns. Reports by some German clothing Firms we spoke to. The iron make makes a straight loss for the company. Very good. What did you understand on this one? I guess that that it is when when we make some, for example, some business, we have to get some return for the uh, inversion. How do you say in English? Investment, but this is not about investment. investment. This ah, okay. is about returning the product to the company. Yes, I'm okay. Okay. But I, I guess that it is uh, talking, uh, the meaning will be it is uh, when we have some returns about or invest or some products. Yeah, exactly. So what it says, and this is very interesting, as you can see. Uh, so there is a cost that everybody pays for returning but it's just a piece. So they have calculated, they have calculated how many people are, are going to return some products. And everybody, we pay for those people that return the product. But what happens if a lot of other people, not the 35% of people, but the 70% of people returns the product, in that case, the company starts to lose money. Yes. So that is it. So it's like, a, they calculate, but they cannot charge everybody for the full pricing of the return. It's interesting, yes. very nice. Yes, because the market accepts a specific price. Mm -hmm. The higher the, the customer prefer, ah, prefer don't buy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's why they do. So what they try is not to have a lot of returns, right? They try to, to keep it minimal, right? They accept returns, but not that, that many. 
let's see um let me see if there is any word i don't think so very good so uh, the next one is going to be for let's see wendy patricia Sorry, teacher. No I do worries. have a uh, mounting cost. Yeah, please. Okay. Intuitable. I don't know how they say. That is intuitively. You can intuitively. and item item to store. Where there are already staff and storerooms might appear pretty much costly, but that is far from the case. A compound KPMG found that the cost of hauling a retard, even in a store, can be as much in three times the cost of delivering the item the first place. This is because the system behind retort are incredible it's complex. Due to a way stock or magnation manager managed. Manage. Shop must have secure areas that protect return items from the damage and theft, for example. Very good. Continue did, teaching. No, until there, but uh, what did you understand on this? I understand that, uh, for example, I, I know I remember one example. Uh, eBay say the cost, the return, the the mercancy is much uh, uh, expensive. That the lost the 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 mercancy maybe the uh, product. The product, yes, because uh, the protocol maybe is more expensive. Uh, for example, the Americans, Mer the product, uh, go to the address or the final uh, customer from the customer. And uh, is it is a uh, difficult the retort the maybe uh, how do you say uh, vendedor uh, ah, the uh, what do you say teacher when uh, you when you send it back. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, no, that's fine. I actually. That is the basis of the paragraph that sometimes uh, to return something is sometimes even more expensive than the product itself. So it's very complex. It's very complex. Uh, sometimes I remember that some people say that that example that when you purchase something and they send a second item and if you have two items you can call the company and the company say no keep the product i mean we don't want that it's, it's more expensive for, yes for teacher because my friend uh buy the dress for uh, online mm -hmm. and the dress uh, don't don't uh, no llegó a tiempo, a time. Uh, didn't arrive on time. Yes, and the, the and beside uh, eBay, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, my eBay, mm -hmm. but decide uh, uh, sell other, other dress, and she uh, had two dress. And say, don't, no problem. Is is your <laughs> to dress is your no, no problem. Yeah, that is true. Sometimes they prefer that one. They prefer because it's it's too expensive to to return something. So 
um, well, it's not good for the business, right? But as we checked in the previous paragraph, we, we everybody, we pay for that kind of thing a little bit. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher I work at KPNG. I really, in mind, so you work at KPNG. Yeah. That more, is very interesting. More 10 years. Yes, interesting. Mayan, that is very nice. I believe that this is a, a worldwide company. It's like a, a, it's a, a company that is in, in many countries in the world. Yes, 165 countries. But you do the accountant just for, for the sabbath. You don't have to transform that into the the rules of international accounting, right? Depend, teacher. I have an engagement that I give support for the other countries. Mm, okay, interesting. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. sometimes what happens, I remember that when I was working at the bank, we had to change everything to international accounting system because uh, we have to send some papers to the headquarters in Germany, right? So that happens sometimes. Even if the company is here in El Salvador, you need to transform many things or, or adapt because there are uh, balancing or accounts that are not the same from here than in other countries. Yeah. Very good, interesting, that's nice. Okay, the next one is going to be for Lourdes. Okay, then they are costs involved in the return support system. There is hardware and especially software to manage returning goods as well as initial online sales. A customer might run the customer service team, often housed in a call center before going to the store. The average trans transaction cost of each administrative task in a business is around seven euros Those are to pounds. A pounds, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, seven pounds to 10 pounds. Online reduces, but doesn't eliminate administration costs. Good, what did you understand on this one? That uh, in the cost of product, uh, there are costs that, uh, that uh, are in the price. And uh, for example, costs about the the specialist, uh, specialist of software uh, about the um, uh, in the text not sale but uh, for example maintenance uh, other uh, about um, about other costs that it is involved in the price and uh, the trans transaction uh, of the the of each administrative task uh, is around the 10 pounds to uh, seven pounds to 10 pounds that is it and I mean I'm sorry, mm -hmm. go ahead. Only, only that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So yeah, actually that happens. I mean, it's, it's too much expensive. There are administrative, I mean, it's not only the return and the paying of the return, but somebody is going to take the, the package, is going to open, is going to restore it, or they're going to decide if it's not possible to sell that item anymore. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a big chain. It's a process that the retailers do, definitely. The next one is for Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Not possible, okay. So Pamela. 
uh, the most for uh, yeah, please. The most companies find they need a dedicated resource distribution center, often run by third-party logistics companies, and incur all the cost of running a facility if you if you unused. Unused. What? Unused. Unused. And used. And in good condition, returns items items might go back on sale, but sometimes for less if sensational discounts are in place. If the items are damaged, there may be cost of repair. The item maybe might even be sold on to third parties that exist just to sell surplus. So stock in secondary markets, given to charity or go to landfill in all involved transport, handling, and transaction costs. What did you understand on this one? Uh, well, I understand that uh, when someone wants a return of some of the product, uh, the companies go. Uh, have on one location to uh, to 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 get a repair or back or whatever they want to go with the with that kind of product. Okay. Uh, yes, it's I mean it's a big logistics, right? Sometimes do you remember that in the previous module we were talking about logistics and how it's better to have third party, 3PL, do you remember? So in this case, they are the ones who handle that one, but of course you need to pay, right? You need to pay for that one. Um, let me see if there is any word here. I don't remember, no. <laughs> no, third charity, yeah. Most customers return uh, items in good faith and good condition, but there are fraudulent transactions and returns frauds are increasing. So. That's what we were discussing at the beginning, right? Sometimes you don't like it. I was just, I wanted just to take a picture and then return it. So that is not good, right? Some people take advantage sometimes on the good will of some companies. The, the next one is for Zulma. Uh, accounts are keep busy matching refunds with item received. A problem, especially where guests check out were used for the online purchase with all the different location items and financial transaction involved. Pinning down a cost of returns is extremely time consuming and none of our case study companies were fully confident yet about their figures. Okay, what did you understand on this one? Um, I think when the company receives a, a product, they have to compare with uh, the product that they receive with uh, the Yes, with the refund that they give to the client. I think uh, when the company is in many uh, the many countries or many departments, it is more difficult to check the inventory uh, because it's a high cost of uh, logistics. Definitely. So that is a real problem about returns, right? And at the end, we need to pay for all of those. Uh, let's check the next one. It's going to be for Gloria. Hello, Gloria. No, Gloria. Susana. Hello. 
Okay, could you please help us reading that paragraph? The good, the good news. Yes. Give me a second, please. Of course. I need to use my glasses. Of course. <laughs> the good news is that a very small improvement in reducing returns has a significant impact on the bottom line. One of our case study companies saved 19 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's okay? Yeah. 19 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. Over four years through, low cost invent, investment in communications and equipment. These savings are the equivalent of either the net profit they will gain from one point billion pounds additional sales or mm, 372 people employed on a beverage way. Very good, perfect. What did you understand on this one? I think the object is reduce that that activity, the returns, because the company's investment very very money in the return. But I, I think for all the time all, all the topic is that return is a logistic ¿Cómo dicen al revés? Backward. Backward. Mm -hmm. okay, I think it's a logistic backward for the beginning. That is true. And uh, well, you can see here that even a very small improvement in reducing returns has a significant impact. So that's why the companies, they try to, to reduce returns. Of course, they accept. They say everywhere, we accept returns, you can return, but they don't want uh, because it's expensive for them. Imagine that uh, it says one of the four of, of what the case studies companies say, 19 million pounds over four years. I mean, that is a lot of money by reducing the returns, okay? And that is equivalent to a lot of, I mean, 372 people employed in, an, uh, in a period of time. So that is a lot. I think with this time, so with this is like, a, okay, I see in this country, you can return like, like other place because uh, for example, when you buy in Amazon, they give, uh, 19, 19 days mm -hmm. in El Salvador only 30 days that is true actually that is a question we're going to check whenever we finish the next paragraph so it's going to be here in El Salvador so uh, nonetheless that is going to be for Nelson okay teacher Nonetheless, is, is banks the question of how long they will be cleared of free return as we as we become to know it can last you may argue that retirement makes enough money to cover the cost and that's only shareholder buffer suffer but that lost net margin made or pay staff wage or be reinvesting in ED next stop of ET and products develop better customer serving and loss prevention is also paid for environment make sure to be taken with suspense chain is is inevitable Inevitable. Inevitable. Uh -huh. Inevitable. Inevitable. When it's come to the law of free return, but but it will be interesting to see now to see how retailer choose choose to respond to his changes. Good. What did you understand on this one? I understand. That the that the company 
a check a analysis and you you purge perdida sorry what is lost. it lost lost uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. um, in, in in the lois uh, i think that uh, all the drop uh, can 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 we invert 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 i'm sorry teacher. invest invest in the uh, other technology uh, in the area in the et i think that is true yeah what it says that is that i mean the customers they believe that this is something that the company pays and maybe the owners of the companies are the ones who pays for the returns but actually that is money that can be direct directed in different departments to hire more people to have a better software system but at the end i mean it's something that is towards the customer satisfaction so remember that the company they try to have a balance between customer satisfaction and also uh, the profits that they want to to make so let's see ubiquity do you know what is ubiquity place it's like a being everywhere in every place so that is ubiquity when you are everywhere okay the other one is argue do you know what is argue it's discussion teacher it's to discuss when you have discuss when you don't agree with other person and you are trying to get something right to, to agree on something uh wages uh staff wages what is that it's a stage mm, wages no. not stage it's like actually it's like a salary I, it's let's see benefit player or teacher wages. It, could, it could be something like a benefit yeah let's see i don't think there is any other okay um no we're not gonna do that okay so before we move on to the next one how is here in el salvador how is your experience have you ever returned something uh, from a company that you purchase what can you tell me was it possible or did you want to return and it was not possible I think teacher it is it's possible the return, but but see if the cost is high. Then more 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 people, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, more people now no return because it is not talk. Okay. Yeah, actually, that but, go ahead. I'm sorry, teacher, but depend of the quality of the product because the. Policies of day of return, maybe ah, one week in one year, maybe. But uh, the characteristic is that the uh, the the policy of the return has a specific time for in our case that is true, mm -hmm. that is true. i mean uh, you you are able to return something depending on the product of course depending on in, the, the store in where my you case purchase. in uh, walmart maybe a specific uh, el electric equipment um, i remember maybe ac Mm -hmm. And we try to to but don't work up, don't work, don't they work. work. Mm -hmm. But only we we need to the bill. He clar he clar he had you say uh, the it's necessary that the bill is clear but 
uh, disadvantage of the paper of ticket, that the, the ticket, the information erase, erase. Yeah, it's deleted very easily, yeah. But it's, uh, it's very important, it's, um, but it's possible the return, but we need to all information because uh, without bill, it's not possible return in El Salvador, no. <laughs> That is true, yeah. Here in El Salvador, you have to have the paper, right? So you can go and return. Uh, maybe another thing is that, of course, it's not possible to return something that is broken, right? I mean, if you broke the item, they say, oh my goodness, this is, it's just if something didn't work properly. That's the situation, right? If this didn't, didn't work, it didn't do what is supposed to be done, then you can return. But I guess here in El Salvador is also complicated. They say that it's possible to return, but sometimes when you go to the store and something is not working, they say, I'm sorry, uh, it's your business. You have to repair it, right? So that is one of the biggest problems in El Salvador. And I believe that, Teacher. go ahead. And, and you are a very, very big problem when you pay with tar uh, target, tarjeta? With a card. Oh. With a car, sorry, yes, because it's the more uh, problematic because you need go to the bank uh, and bank say, no, no, it's in a market. If you go to the market, if the market uh, say, oh, no, it's in the bank. <laughs> and <laughs> anything uh, uh, return your money. Yeah, that is true. It's a big problem. That happened to me once. I was going to, I bought a motorbike with a car, but the motorbike, I mean, they didn't have the motorbike anymore. It was just in the picture. And when I tried to do the return, they said, yeah, we're going to give you the money back next week. But I spent three months waiting for the money back. Yeah, and, and it's difficult. You, you can, uh, well, they, they return your money. You can uh, change the product for other similar, but the money is difficult you, you return. That is true. They so, say, okay, you don't like this, take the other thing that is there, right? So, yes. <laughs> and, yes. uh, I believe that that's why here in El Salvador, I mean, we are warriors right here. Whenever we purchase something, if it's not working, we say, okay, what can we do? Of course, depends, right? If it's a piece of cloth, like a shirt or something like that, you can do anything. If it's a TV, of course, you can go. You have to go and check, right? But it's something that we do here in El Salvador. It's like, okay, we can repair ourselves. Um, we don't. We prefer not to go and fight uh -huh. with the people in the stores. Sometimes it's better to say, ah, whatever. I lost my. Money. You, 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 you. The, the philosophy is. Lo barato sale caro en, en. <laughs> That is true. That yes, is but, just... but it is possible the return the, the money because the uh, uh, last year I had the experience with uh, in, in Black Friday in the in the family uh, uh, invites in, in in the uh, warehouse seaman uh, 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 by a uh, refrigerator and in the one uh, one today. Uh, I have the problem, and, and, and I called the report and checked the mail, or uh, 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 the ticket, uh, all information. But uh, I passed uh, one month in the in the in the same in the support and a visit at my house, and uh, two occasion, two occasion, but uh, uh, difficult. But in the chain, the fears, the, the fear strategy, uh, the fear, uh, the chain, the, the, the product. But the, the second product is only bad. It is similar. But a uh, two month, a uh, tramitator is, but in the, in the, in the attention, attention, attention. And, and I, I, we we have with my my we go go by my family, my my wife is a talking about in the gerent, uh, uh, in, in the in the in the 
Unit of Sucursa. Mm -hmm. uh, range. And, and rent, yes. And the in the of in the give the option the, the other product or, or the given the, the in the money in a, a, a house pro, a out decision uh, and given money in, 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 in the moment in two three days the next in the given the money okay so it was a good experience for you because you got your money back but imagine that month that you were with no refrigerator and many problems so yeah sometimes it's difficult Sometimes it's difficult because when you buy something, you have expectations, right? You are happy that you have something new that is going to work very nice and that you are going to, but, well. But, but uh, I wait two months, but there two months. Months. yeah. That's a lot, a lot. Okay. Okay, very good. We're going to stop for a while and we're going to check the attendance, of course. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin López Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmín Baires Solórzano. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. <coughs> Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, so we are going to continue. We're going to check a little video about some of what we're talking about, the hidden costs of food. Well, this one is just shipping, but it's a very interesting one. So let's see how it goes. As usual, we're going to see the video and then we're going to provide comments, feedback, what you understood on the video, and of course your opinions. So here we go. Free shipping isn't free. This idea of free shipping is becoming pervasive, right? And there's a cost for that. It's just a psychological thing that people see that word free and it takes away one barrier to having them purchase, that's all. There were over 131 billion parcels shipped worldwide in 2020 and parcel shipments are expected to double again in the next five years, possibly reaching 266 billion by 2026. The big carriers like FedEx, UPS, and even Amazon are making a lot of deliveries and none of those packages are being shipped for free. When consumers click that buy box, they often don't see what labor leads to a box on their doorstep. And those shipping costs are ever increasing. Anyone can offer an Amazon Prime two-day shipping. It's just the cost that you as a brand might incur in providing that service. Very rough numbers. It might cost you anywhere from $25 to $35 for a typical transaction. That's a two-day, right? That seems very expensive. People like free shipping because the word free is very powerful, even if people know that it's not really free because someone is paying for it. 
Here's why free shipping is a myth. Answer to who's paying for it, it definitely depends. And it depends on a plethora of factors around how expensive is the particular item? As a brand or an e-commerce entrepreneur, what are my margins on that particular order? And third is how much actually for me is the cost of shipping? How oh, the seller is paying for the shipping. It just comes right down to whoever is selling. So if the customer is charged the shipping fee, the seller still pays for that label and the customer basically pays for the label through that fee. But if it says free shipping on the listing, the seller is still having to buy the label. The seller is subsidizing part of it or maybe the whole thing. I have free shipping on certain items that are lighter, like things that I can basically control and estimate how much it's going to cost. Kara has been selling her products on Etsy since 2011, and now she takes to YouTube to help other online sellers maximize their profits. I just figure out how much is it going to cost based on the size and the weight, and I either decide, well, I can eat that cost, or I'll have to add some of it into the price of the item. Etsy's free shipping initiative launched in 2019. It includes tools and support for sellers to help guarantee free shipping on orders of $35 or more for U.S. buyers. As of December 31st, 2021, 67% of sellers' items on the Etsy marketplace offered free shipping to U.S. buyers. Etsy isn't the only company helping sellers calculate shipping costs. I'm Drew. I'm one of the founders and the CEO of ShipBob. We started the business almost seven years ago now with the idea to help bring best-in-class uh, logistics for small to mid-sized e-commerce businesses. ShipBob helps these businesses coordinate their products, inventory, orders, and shipments efficiently, helping them keep up with big business like Amazon. We did a survey of merchants and close to 50 to 75% of the respondents said that they offer some sort of free shipping. Either it's blanket free shipping across the entire website or it's free shipping to the consumers after their cart hits a certain threshold of either 50 to $75. What has happened in the last couple of years is that the actual cost of shipping that UPS and the FedEx and the DHL and the USPS charge to brands has gone up because their labor wage rates have gone up because there's so much volume, they're paying a lot of overtime excess, etc. So their cost of operating has gone up significantly, which then they're passing on to companies like us, which are then forced to pass on to brands that we work with. Delivery giants like FedEx and UPS both said rates would go up an average of 5.9% next year across most services. Companies like Amazon, Walmart, and Target, even Etsy, benefit from economies of scale. These big players are generating so many online sales, putting them at an advantage to achieve bulk discount rates. Most of the time, these companies will negotiate a price with the postal service. So they go to the post office and they say, we are shipping, you know, X number of packages. We're going to be buying this number of labels. And because they have so many people buying labels from Etsy shipping labels, they can negotiate the lower rates. These rates are not publicly disclosed, and Amazon, FedEx, UPS, and USPS either declined to be interviewed or did not respond for comment. However, Kara helped us break down how some of these costs may compare. Here's an example of a lightweight four ounce package going cross country. The retail rate, what you might pay at the post office, is $5.50. Kara says Etsy charges a commercial rate of $4.15 to sellers. In another example, a heavier one pound package shipping priority cross country, shipping would cost Kara $11.60 at that retail rate. But buying the shipping label through Etsy brings that shipping rate down to $9.68. Etsy told CNBC that without access to item level and logistics information, that it couldn't confirm these numbers. ShipBob negotiates bulk discounts from UPS, USPS, FedEx, and DHL for both domestic and international rates across different service levels for any customers using their platform. Amazon is a unique player in the e-commerce game for so many reasons, but one is that it's heavily invested in its own transportation and logistics business so that it could rely less on UPS and USPS. And same for Walmart and Target. Recently, they all have announced some ways that they are also getting into transportation simply because they have enough volume. In 2019, Amazon was delivering 47% of its own packages. 
In 2021, that number soared to 72%. Amazon's other strategy to lower shipping costs is to place warehouses of inventory to lessen the distance a package has to ultimately travel. By placing inventory strategically across maybe six to seven different locations, you can cover 90 to 95% of the U.S. population within two days. According to ShipBob, its clients have seen that distributing inventory across several fulfillment centers can reduce shipping costs by 25% and bring a 13% cost savings to their bottom line. Not only do they get delivered faster, but UPS and FedEx charge you less for it because, you know, it doesn't have to go through their entire infrastructure. And so that's really how Amazon and the Walmarts of the world have made it possible to offer free shipping to their consumers. Despite all this, shipping is super expensive for every player in the game, even Amazon, which still primarily outsources costly rural deliveries to USPS and outsources that expensive last mile portion to small delivery contractors. What does this mean for small business? Well, it's harder to keep up. Even in the US, if I ship from the East Coast to the West Coast, it costs maybe 50% more depending on the size of the package than if I'm just shipping from the East Coast to the East Coast. So you can't really plan 100% for how much things are gonna cost when you ship them. And that makes it difficult to 100% offer free shipping because a lot of times you end up with no profit. If are you an IT pro? So you need alerts, billing, help desk, remote access, monitoring. You need if you're not really careful. The cost of shipping goes beyond what is easily quantified. Hitting costs include exploitation of workers, lack of unions, small business closures, and the impact on the environment. Some of that labor that goes into delivering goods to your doorstep happens within warehouses and distribution facilities. And blue collar warehouse workers do a lot of backbreaking labor. Research has shown that Amazon has a very high injury rate, even higher than the industry on average, which is saying a lot because it's a rather dangerous industry in terms of workplace injuries and accidents. The interviews that we collected with warehouse workers in the Riverside and San Bernardino counties were reporting all sorts of back injuries, muscle sprains. One other group of workers who make next day shipping uh, possible are the delivery drivers, right? For example, part of Amazon's strategy was to invest in the most expensive part of the shipping process, getting a package that last mile. Part of this is completed by Amazon Flex drivers, which are individual gig workers who make between $18 and $25 an hour, driving routes on demand. Then there's the drivers working for Amazon's delivery service partners, aka the DSPs, which are smaller independent companies that contract with Amazon. What I think a lot of Amazon Prime members and consumers don't realize is that these workers who are delivering the goods to your doorstep on the next day or the same day, do not work for Amazon. Their employers are small trucking companies that Amazon instead puts all the liability on these small firms that have, let's say, 40 vans. So instead of hiring drivers, Amazon hired small companies. And this was a key aspect in preventing unions and preventing responsibility of those workers. The DSP program started in 2018, with Amazon offering $10,000 to incentivize current Amazon employees, veterans, Black, Latinx, and Native American entrepreneurs to launch a DSP. There's now more than 2,000 DSPs in the U.S. So these workers, we can compare them to a similar job, whether it's United States Postal Service workers or UPS workers. Those are both union jobs, and Amazon has now built this massive infrastructure based on these contingent workers who have far less rights, far less coverage, and if you include benefits, make less than half of what your average Teamster does per hour. The disparate impacts of warehousing. And those impacts affect small businesses, as we mentioned, many of those have been under pressure closing because they can't compete. In a 2019 survey, three quarters of independent retailers said Amazon's dominance is a major threat to their survival. And then on top of that, there are environmental concerns as well, right? Warehouses often are clustered together, concentrated in certain regions like the Inland Empire, as well as neighborhoods that tend to be low-income communities of color. One study shows transport will be the biggest source of new greenhouse gas emissions in the decades until 2050. In absolute terms, Amazon is the largest emitter of greenhouse gases, 
with total emissions measuring over 60 million metric tons of CO2 equivalents in 2020. And the impact is that, you know, it pollutes the air, right? All those deliveries going out to deliver goods means a lot of air pollution. There's been a normalization of kind of instant consumer gratification. And what comes with that is then free shipping. Free shipping has become synonymous with that instant gratification. Offering free shipping ultimately impacts the bottom line for all retailers, not just because of the cost to ship something, but because consumers are more likely to complete a purchase if offered that free shipping. According to ShipBob, offering free shipping has proven to be the most effective website banner from a conversion standpoint. It also is a psychological thing where people see free, and even if you know that someone's paying for the label, and you know that you're probably paying for the label within the cost of the item, it still is one less thing that you have to plan for. On the one hand, it is good for the customer psychologically without not having to plan for it. But on the other hand, it really puts pressure on people who can't afford to ship for free. And then it takes all of our profits. Offering free two-day shipping on domestic orders showed that brands have been able to increase average amount spent per transaction by 97% and even reduce cart abandonment by 18%. Many people today have low to moderate incomes, right? And even middle class families are often sort of struggling to pay all the bills. I think many consumers are trying to cut costs in different ways. I think also people don't really stop to consider what the costs are. We wanted more and more people to really sort of pause and think about what is it that we're doing in our society to each other as we consume, you know? Okay, what did you understand in the video? Do you have opinions or something to say? To show video to show a uh, board of buying or, or the website or platform or platform. Okay. Uh, Adding, adding car. Uh, other world is uh, uh, shopping. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, well, sh the free shipping is something that we really like, right? Um, and almost all the platforms that are very powerful, like eBay or Amazon, they offer that one. But is that really for free? Anybody else's? Uh, buying, free, free buying. Free shipping at least. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, helping uh, to, to buy uh, uh, um, cost, cost menor or, or con menos uh, costos. Uh, yeah, less expensive. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Very good, perfect, thank you. Anybody else? Uh, she mentioned that the word free is very powerful. Also Calm. when, yes, also when we see free shipping, oh my God, free shipping. <laughs> but um, at the end, I understand that the word Free shipping is a myth. They they explain and um, they mention that also the customer pay for the label and the package. That At the is... end, nothing is free <laughs> because we had to pay uh, and we had to pay a price, a cost, but we don't see. <laughs> Exactly. That is the thing, right? Nothing is free. I mean, somebody has to pay for that one. Somebody is uh, taking the package to your door. And I mean, it's not, it's not for free. Um, the most of the time it says that you are the one who pays. But what the big companies do is that they negotiate with the post office and with some other companies, small companies, so they pay less and they can take more profit. So yeah, they, they mentioned that uh, if you if you go to the retail 
the retail you pay oh my god you pay 50 feet 5.50 and if you make by the company or the the store yeah the store can i say you pay for a four dollars with a 95 cents that is true mm -hmm. because how do you say the they are uh, can i say agreements uh, yeah they have an agreement and actually uh, they were saying also that those are the the pricing that they know but the negotiation that they have with amazon they don't know the prices they are very low but anyways they have to pay or we have to pay right anybody else's teacher the 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 video talked uh, how to make to take a decision to not share of the cost of shipping uh, is this is because of the volume of or sell for retail uh, sell is high uh, when the sell is high the profit is high uh, then it is is the business high profit can take a, a decision to not share the the pay for 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 shipping. That is true. I mean, this this key uh, for me is is the key for for um for off uh, this cost. Or for offer free shipping. That is true. So it's like a technique, right? It's a technique that they offer something for free, and we believe it's for free, but nothing is for free. But it's actually this, that the, huh? this kind of business is easy to take a decision, but when the business is a small business, it's very complicated because all costs are all are, 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 are costs have impact in the business. That is true. So yeah, that happens, that happens a lot. I mean, the small businesses, sometimes they can't compete even when they have better products and better pricing for the product, but if, if the shipping is expensive, they can compete with large companies. So that is yeah. kind of interesting. Good, anybody else's? Trees hmm? uh, about to um, vouch for credit card. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whenever you purchase in the way that you purchase, of course. And now, now with the pandemic, this is much. I yeah. mean, it's, it's going to be. It was, and it's already bigger than it was in the past definitely so true that is true teacher another advantage that this kind of business have is that not only sells in his country uh, they they sell around the world that is true so you know there are good things and bad things of course but i mean the bigger the company is the the costs are going to be less, definitely. Yes, obviously that people have uh, by uh, country to country have another another cost. For example, um, the, the, the shipping is different because it's external shipping and that have another true. tax for introduce the product at the at, at the, his country. That is true. Yeah, definitely it's not going to be the same. Of course, they don't lose money. We are the one who pay more, but um, that is another advantage I mean, that they, they sell across countries. Yeah. Nice, nice. So uh, this one, it says 20 hidden fees. You had no idea you were paying. So we discussed already about, about uh, returns 
and also we discuss about free shipping that is not for free. So everything comes with a price. Watch out for these surprise expenses and learn how to avoid them. Let's see if that is true, okay? Uh, the first part is going to be for Jose Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm. Uh, the hidden fees. Yes, please. Mm. Hidden fees seem to sneak up on you everywhere this, these days. Sometimes you may end up paying for more than you originally intended. And for most people, these charges are typically a surprise. It can be frustrating, especially when extra costs aren't disclosed immediately upfront. We rounded up a few common hidden fees. You may not have realized it. You were paying with the best tips from financial experts on how to avoid them. Everything from having certain bills on out, out to pay to losing your rental car keys comes with the price. Make sure you also keep a handle on this tiny spark, splurges. splurges that cost way more than you thought. Very uh, good. To be honest, teacher, I don't know uh, what it means, hidden fees. Okay, hidden fees. fees. Is, you know what is a fee? Mm, okay. Could you mind explaining? Of course, of course. A fee is something that you pay for that has a price that has like, a, yeah, like a price for something that you want. It might be a product or a service, mostly mm -hmm. it's for services. Yeah. Hidden is, is something that you don't see. So they are uh -huh. undercover. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. what we're talking about here is that sometimes when you pay for a product, you pay, you believe that you pay just for the product. But of course mm -hmm. you pay for the product, for the package, for the bag, for the box, for the delivery, for everything. And sometimes we uh -huh. don't see, don't see those fees that we're paying for. Uh, okay, teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure. So yeah, what it says here as the introduction is that they are there, right? And that okay, we teacher. just see the pricing and we don't know what we're paying, uh, but it's better for you to, sometimes it's possible for you to know what are those fees. And sometimes it's also possible uh, to to avoid them, to avoid to pay more. Oh, yeah. it, it is possible to avoid them? Sometimes, depending on many uh -huh. situations. Mm, okay, teach. Good, perfect. And what, what it means is splurges. Splurges is something like when you pay without thinking, when you are, like when you are in a party and you say, I invite everybody to ah, uh, yeah, it's plowed yourself. You, yes, it's uh -huh. you are living it yes, up. It's okay, good. okay, uh, I get it, teacher. Thank you. Good, good. Okay, let's see. Uh, foreign transaction fees. This is the first one, so this is going to be for Walter. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening, and for even traditional fees. Foreign, foreign uh, transaction fees. Foreign transaction fees. You are on vacation and overseas having a good time and you with um, all your credit card without much uh, throws, Thought. but throw, a bad idea. And we'll be traveling abroad. While traveling. While traveling and be extra uh, where is the credit cards. And one to three person on top of a purchases a frame and transition and free avoid this risky and fee by finding with cash or using a credit card. And that's and why this the frame transition fees. Say <clears throat> Natasha Rochelle Smith, a uh, personal finance express with a third cash bar. That count. Okay. Very good. What did you understand on this one, Walter? This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
What did you understand on the reading? Okay. Uh, credit card, uh, the travel, and the... Uh, credit card and portions, the purchases. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, the idea is that when you go to other country and you use your credit card, there is always a fee, a transaction fee that is just because you are from other country. Just because of that, you pay more. So okay. that is something that happens actually. Let me see some words on this one. Do you know what is everybody overseas? It's like crossing the ocean. It's like crossing the ocean. Yeah, it's on the other side of the ocean. Very good. Let me see. A boy, do you remember what is a boy? Right? No. The opposite the alone. When you keep away. You keep away when you try yeah. not to do something, right? So in this case, avoid to use the credit card in other country. You need to pay. It's better if you pay only with cash. Of course, depending on the situation, sometimes we don't have option, right? We need to pay with the credit card. Okay, the next one is for Ophelia. Okay, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Awesome. A popular hotel in Petri, I guess I can also see. I just are unavoidable. 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 I just raise I can change for change. This is I need. I need. I just this often. I should do things. I do most. I guess I. Uh, do to the street. I know I've been completely in the prison. I do, I boy, I boy, I, I, I go to, uh, to please, I do chicken in a call, I do hotel and ask food for a bad this tidy thing. Good, perfect. What did you understand on this one, Felia? Mm -hmm. I, I want to and in and volcanic and and Okay. Yeah, so this happens in every place, right? So imagine what it says. Hotel check-in surprise. Often popular hotels and tourist destinations charge resort fees that are unavoidable. So only to go to the place, sometimes there are fees. You need to pay for that one. Not only the price that you see there online, but other fees. And it could be up to 10 to $30 at night. So uh, sometimes we need to ask questions. Whenever we're going to go to a place, it's better to ask questions and, and be sure that how much you will be paying for that one. So whenever you go to a hotel, even if it's in another country, I mean, that is something that is a good idea for you to, to check into that one. Um, let me see, there are no words, I guess, in this one. Oh, well, this unavoidable, what is unavoidable? We'll check in the other one, avoid, right? Avoid is to, to stop something or to, to go to the other way to, uh, how can I say, I don't know. But we check avoid in the first paragraph. So unavoidable is something that you cannot avoid. So it's something that you need we, to do it. 
with tax. I'm sorry. With with tax. Oi. Tax is unavoidable, definitely. So you cannot say to the government, "I'm not going to pay." So yeah. you need to pay with or or not tax. Unavoidable. No, unavoidable is something that you cannot avoid. So it's something that you have you to. Do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Free. Yeah, it's a fee that you have to do one way or another. So that is it. Good, retirement ripoff. That is going to be for, let me just check. One second. For Carla. Um, is your funding a qualified plan like a, a 401? Even a seemingly negligible, 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 negligible fee that's out of to one percent can cost bid. Such a small fee can reduce your retirement balance by twenty eight percent. Say, Garen, Garen. Gunderson, founder and chief wealth are architects and they architect at the wealth factory factory realize that retirement plan fees include administration shares from marketing shares that are not as 12B1 fees. Marketing field, legal field, setup fin, admin fields, expensing ratios, playing for the manage manager, even if it doesn't beat a lot of not cost index form, in order to avoid paying this fees, make sure to read the fees disclosure. A statement that lists of the investment option for your 4001. This will help you figure out if it work looking into a plan as lower cost. For getting above surprising costs is one of the most common retainment saving mistake. Very good. What did you understand on this one? I don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that actually is not that complicated. This is something that happens in the US because in the US, whenever you are working, there are different plans that you are going to have for retirement. So this is like uh, here in El Salvador, IFP. Oh, yeah, I understand retirement is a, is a, um, when you, when you finish your laboral time. Yeah, yeah, that is the one. So uh, that is the retirement. So what happens in the US is that there are different plans and some of the plans they have hidden fees. So whenever you finish, when you are 65 years old and you want your money back, they say, okay, I will give you this, but I need this money for me, right? There are other fees of management and things like that. Uh, in El Salvador as well, but the problem in El Salvador is that they take the money in the moment that they take uh, every month your payment, right? But in the U.S., they take money uh, in the moment that you pay, and also at the end, when they are going to give you your money, sometimes they say, oh, but you have to pay this as well. So it's a big trick. It's not good at all. <laughs> so, and it says that for you to avoid that one, yes. you need to check about the plans and fees. This topic is very, very different than the United States and here. Oh, yeah, that is true. To be honest with you, here in El Salvador is not that good, but we are better than in the U.S. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. is, I mean, to be the United States sometimes. I mean, it's like, it's like the health <laughs> system. The health system here is bad, but it's not that bad as in the U.S. The U.S. is horrifying. It's not good, not good at all.
Anyways, so this was just for you to know in case whenever you go and live in New York and you sign for a plan of retirement, check, please ask questions. Ask questions about what is this? What am I gonna pay? Do not only sign the paper. Okay, the other one, check out your cable provider. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, this is going to be for Rose. Okay. Yes. Cable TV providers are, are adding fees to cover their cost while, while they say they are holding down their prices in general, says Gunderson. These costs come from carrying certain broadcast networks such as CB, CBS and for regional sports channels. In any event, cable companies will almost always renegotiate or lower the cost of internet service, cable packages, etc. If you call to cancel, for example, I got my down from uh, 170 a month to 100 by negotiating, says Gunderson. Exam examine your cable bill to see what channels you watch, what channels you don't and where you may be overcharged, negotiate a package that gives you the channels you watch most. Look at the fees on your bill for extra boxes or for your modem. modem. You can sometimes replace the modem you rent from the cable company with one of your own, which will pay for itself in month. Prevent hiding fees by learning all of this personal finance tips you were never told. Good. What did you understand on this one? <laughs> it's like here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like here. Oh my God. It's good. Okay. In this case, they give you the, the option uh, to reduce your bill because I only watch two channels. It's PN and another. <laughs> <laughs> and my my bill is going to be a lower. But here it doesn't happen. You pay also for when the when the signal is is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, it's it's good. We have to check your card cable provider. But here, no. We we only we only have to pay and uh, complaining about the service. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. And that is true. I mean, here in El Salvador, if there is no signal because it's raining, yeah, you don't watch TV and I can you have put, to pay. I can put my own box. <laughs> <laughs> I can put my, oh, I, I'm going to pay my, no, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, or your, uh, the, your mother, no. No. <laughs> if, if they... If they can, oh my God, uh, sabotage. <laughs> sabotage. Yeah, if they can sabotage your system, your own system, they will do. Yeah, that is true. They but will you do. have to pay uh, all the all the months the the bill. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I only see one channel. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, and that is true, right? Sometimes. Well, I don't pay for cable anymore, but I remember when I was paying for that one, I just watched like five channels, the movies one, the sports one, maybe music, but even music was not that much. Uh, and that's it. The other channels, I never saw those. Never in my life. Okay. Good. Let's move on. The other one says sneaky hotel fees. This one is going to be for Osmin. Is not hotel fees, yes. Sneaky, huh? Okay. Sneaky hotel fees. Open the open the bar in your room at your oven rice. Should, should they may have a list of the price beside the menu bar, but sometimes just chicken items in the bar and carrier are charged, ordering extra towards 
might also cause to is a good idea to to ask about any fees or charge for stuff in your room or you use or get more. Yeah. Perfect. What did you understand on this one, Ashwin? Mm, yeah. I sample, for example, uh, uh, the cost um, is, is good. Is good. In the art, uh, it's a, a, a policy of the hotel. Uh, in in your room, in your bar. For me, it's interesting the idea. Uh, snake hotel piece. Okay, perfect. Yeah, sneaky. Sneaky is something that. It's okay. Like this, sneaky hotel piece. Yeah. It's something that you cannot catch. You cannot see. It's like hidden there, and it's you cannot it's catch. Like it, a you know? secret. It's like a secret, yeah, something yeah. like that. So, and mm -hmm. that happens. I mean, in the hotels, if you go to any hotels in El Salvador, in Spain, in any hotel, if you take something from the minibar, it's very expensive. If you very request expensive. more towels, it's very expensive. I mean, you can get anything. You can you can get a nanny for your kids. You can get uh, flowers. You can get uh, anything. But of course, it's going to be very expensive. And Inclusive remember, teacher, uh -huh. the the cons, uh, only one bottle of water is courtesy. Yeah. In the others, <laughs> it, the price is expensive. It's very expensive. I mean, here in El Salvador, if you go to any hotel that is kind of nice and you want to eat pupusas, that is very expensive. Yeah. Tamales are like three dollars, and and you say what? I mean. The place change the price, the price of the price. Yeah, that is it. So if you are going to go to a hotel, it's better that you eat very nice. If you are going to pay for something, let's eat very nice, right? So because yeah. the problem, teacher, is when you visit the hotel with the children, because <laughs> the children oh, is more complicated. It's more complicated because yeah. the sne sneaking, but it's uh, candy. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> exactly that is very yeah with kids is another story i mean is and you cannot say no to the kids right maybe what you can say is i'm gonna buy this or, or just one thing choose one and that's it right but you cannot say no to the kids definitely <laughs> that is true very good uh, i don't have any question uh, any words here let me check do you remember what is a towel well here is the picture of the towels it's better with an image. <laughs> good. Uh, keep your eyes on your keys. Very good. So this is going to be for Sandra Gladys. Keep, keep your eyes on your keys. Mm -hmm. No doubt when you, you're on vacation, you're unhappy, go look at mood, don't get too out that you lost the keys to you re ah, rent a car that's he may be uh, three three hundred zero three hundred zero zero and if you lost your hotel key it could be uh, to five or more 25 or more okay so I believe this is very clear, to be honest with you. I mean, if you rent a car and you lose the, the key car, they are going to charge you around $300 for that key. Of course, they have a key already there, right? Because they are prepared. When they rent a car to you, um, they have two or three copies of the key. But of course, you need to pay. And when you lose the hotel key, it's 25 just for that key. Of course, they have the key already. Cost more cost for for the kids. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's like when you go to Metro Centro. If you go to Metro Centro and, and you lost the, the ticket, that is, I Reparking. guess, around 
the parking ticket, yeah, that is, I Ay, guess. Ten ah, yes, dollar yes. Teacher. Five, ten, ten, ten dollar teacher. Ten dollar, teacher. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. No, that's not For good, For right? kids, ten dollar, yes. Yeah, so, well, it's not good, right? So we need to be careful on the Supermarket. In, the, in this, on the supermarket, uh, to, to pay five dollars. That is true. That is true. Yeah, that, that is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, yes. No. It, 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 it's a new business. Of, of yeah. I mean, yeah. Or the, or the uh, uh, money. Yeah, it's very expensive. I mean, in the past, you could go to Metro Centro and just walk around for free, right? But now you have to pay for the parking. So. It's a different business, as Osmin says. Okay, so uh, it says blindsided by balance transfer fees. This one is for Wilfredo. Not possible. Okay, it's just me. Fees with by balance transfer fees. Blindsided. Ah, blindsided. Blindsided. By balance, mm -hmm. Blindsided by balance transfer fees. It sounds so simple. Transfer the healthy balance on your credit card to a new credit card with a 0% interest rate. But the opportunity will be you the healthy surcharge of 4% in transfer fees. So be sure it's worth doing and that can be paid off your entire balance during the promotional period. Otherwise, you'll earn interest on the remaining balance under cutting your intended benefits. Very good, so that is it. I believe this is very clear as well. I mean, if you are going to transfer from one car to other car, some money, of course, is going to be a percentage of a fee. Banks, they have a lot of fees. A lot of fees depending on what you are going to, to do it, right? Uh, we're not gonna read this, but that is it. I mean, um, in the bank, well, by law, in the, in the news- Todo es chiste, tampoco, Emma. Todo no es chiste. Emma, please behave because your mom is hungry. <laughs> okay. So, we were talking about the banks, right? So, uh, every quarter, every quarter in a the bank, there is the like the, all the fees that they charge you, right? So I believe that it's a very good idea for you to read and compare banks. So that is a very nice thing. Anyways, you have to use the bank sometimes and we cannot avoid that one. So uh, speaking about hidden fees, what hidden fees have you found in products here in El Salvador? Have you found hidden fees? When you purchase something, when you do a transaction, Uh, yeah, that is not that hidden, but it's a problem. I guess that the problem with Eva is, for example, in mind that you have sandwiches, you are going to sell sandwiches. You buy the bread and you pay Eva. And then you buy the ham and the cheese and everything has Eva, right? And you put everything together and you sell that. I mean, it's astronomic. The government has a lot of money a lot of money because that is a lot of money that we spend and we spend more than 13 percent because if you purchase something that a provider sells to a retailer and the retailer sells to another person and the person sells to you is not 13 percent anymore because the price increases right so it's a lot more pay and IVA to IVA. i'm sorry we pay IVA to IVA. yeah that is it so it's a lot of money, definitely. When you um, buy a, a, a enters, uh, 
for the cinema in online. There is a chart for the service, personal service. What is that is true. It's pretty sad because you say, oh, I'm going to buy it online and you're so happy. And, and the problem is that that is actually a hidden fee because the problem is that appears when you pay, right? Before, it doesn't say anything. And you calculate, yeah. I'm going to buy four tickets and it's going to be, I don't know, $20. And when you pay, it says, okay, thank you for your purchase. You pay $24. And it's like, what? For the service. For the service, just because you're in front of the computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not good. It's, but the part, good it's part of the price, yes? <laughs> yeah, it's part of the, it's the business, right? We are in that the business. business. Yeah. But that is true. That is a hidden fee. Any other hidden fee yeah. that you have found in any product or services? For service professional, you pay the rent. Yeah, that is true. I mean, I mean, talking about taxes only with, in my the realidad, with that one, you pay taxes just for you to walk on the street, right? Anyways, and, and, and the companies, they get the money from your, from your payment in the, first, in the first quarter, right? So it's something that you cannot avoid. That is true. Very true. Any other hidden fee that you have found? With the gas, we pay trunk. A lot of things. We pay <laughs> there in the, in the gas. It pays. And the problem with the gas is that it's a, a percentage. I mean, there are like two or three taxes, I believe, because right now we are not paying one. There are like three mm -hmm. taxes that we're paying for that one, besides the, the, the pricing that is inflated, right? So, yeah, so. Teacher, that the service is terrible with the fee. Is the service, is the service in, in the hospital? Because the charge is for all if the price is high. Mm -hmm. And it's possible you enter with a specific budget, but never, yeah. never is close the budget. That is so true. And the the really sad part on that one is that you cannot go to the hospital, right? I mean, if you go to a public hospital, you can go, but maybe it's not a good experience, right? It's better if you go to a private, but private, that is true. They have a lot of fees that they don't tell you until you pay. So in the billing, it says you pay for this and this and this and this. And you say like, what? What is this thing? It's a, it's a big problem. Until the air pay. Yeah, we pay for everything, right? I mean, everything, everything. Have nothing, as we said before, nothing is for free. Even to die is very expensive, <laughs> right? Because you have to pay a lot of things. Maybe the good thing is that you don't know, but I mean, you, you have to be prepared for that one, right? Because you don't want your family to be sad and also thinking about what they are going to do with you, right? But it's very expensive to die, to eat, to, to do whatever, anything. Everything is money here. Okay, my friends, we are going to check the attendance and we're going to finish today. Let's see how it goes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Yes. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Good night, teacher. Good night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good teacher. Para ustedes el one one ahora, Ofelia. Okay, Osmin, good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. 
Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good, Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good, Good night. Good night. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, um, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good rest. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Okay. See you tomorrow, buddy. Bye. 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 Hello, Ophelia. How are you? Hi, thank you. Very nice. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo has sentido que va en este módulo? ¿Siente que va avanzando, que va aprendiendo? Sí, voy aprendiendo, Ticha. Hay unas cosas que me gusta la pero voy aprendiendo. Ok, perfecto. Sí, mire, eso es, es pasa más que todo cuando estamos hablando de inglés para el trabajo, ¿verdad? En inglés de, de negocios que traen palabras que no se utilizan en un vocabulario normal, pero que, que se utilizan de repente, ¿verdad? En cuanto a negocios. Y también, pues, eh, hay ciertas palabras como que son un poquito fancy, que son para redactar, pero es bueno que las vayamos conociendo. Eso sí. está bien. Perfecto. Eh, ¿Tiene usted alguna pregunta, alguna duda con algún tema que hayamos visto? Sí, en eso que en la tarea que le pone el punto... Eh, que siempre no, no sé si es que ya le puedo sumar el que me da error uh -huh. vale, si quiere lo revisamos uh -huh. lo, lo tiene malo todavía no lo ha hecho correctamente no, no. vaya, permítame entonces ahorita vamos a ver ya cómo nos toca esa era la 1 algo, ¿verdad? 1, 1, 5 creo vamos a ver Este es. Bye. Si se fija, yo las tengo todas buenas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Lo que pasa es que esto es de acuerdo a lo que vimos que es el report speech. Entonces, uh -huh. la primera le tendría que quedar Big Online Stores Save. Y aquí es Trusted Brands. Uh -huh. Had. Aquí donde lo cambiamos. Ya no es have, sino que es had a. Uh -huh. Strong reputation y el punto. Si sí, yo le quito el punto, no, no, no me pasa. Bueno, ahí no creo, creo que les haya pasado. Igual la siguiente, si usted se fija, dice specialist said. Entonces el said es el que vamos a cambiar, es la primera palabra. People was, ya no es is, sino que es was. Y de ahí igualito, ¿verdad? More secure yeah. than debit cards y el punto. Ajá. La siguiente le tendría que quedar. A friend said, esta la cambiamos, la pasamos al pasado simple. Said offers that, a ver, a esta la cambiamos también, where, porque ya no es are. La cambiamos a where, too good, lo mismo, ¿verdad? To be true, might, 
might, ya no es may, sino que might, be a scam. Entonces aquí cambiamos tres palabras. Eso es. No. Ajá, ya no es may, sino que might. La siguiente quedaría a blogger say, otra vez cambiamos esta, mobile phones, networks, y aquí la cambiamos otra vez, where. Tendría que ser no are, sino que where. More secure than, lo demás va a quedar igualito, public wifi y el punto. Y la última, ups. La última que dice consumers reported, aquí le, pon, le ponemos también en pasado. Consumers reported, ¿cómo? Va, entonces sería consumers reported deals where, ya no es are, sino que es where. La verdad. Esta gramática es muy importante porque tenemos que ir viendo cómo cómo funciona todo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si se fija ahí están todas buenas, quiere decir que sí se pueden hacer, solo hay que tener cuidado con cómo la hacemos, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta o duda? No sé si tiene alguna otra duda, pregunta, algún otro ejercicio o algún tema que hayamos visto. Hello. No, pues, me cae el internet. Ah, no, sí, a veces hay problemas. A veces se pone lento y cosas por el estilo. Pero bueno. Sí, le escucho ahorita, le escucho. Entonces. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Entonces, si quieres, revisa el ejercicio, trate de hacerlo. Y si hay no, otro... solamente eso. No, pues, sí. Perfecto. Bueno, entonces ha sido un gusto estar con usted. La veo tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher.